Hi guys, welcome back to Succulent Living with Maria. Today I want to unbox a new lights that I got and uh, show you what kind of experiment I'm going to perform with my succulents. I think you're going to enjoy it. So as you know, in the past I had some pink lights that have performed really well. Then I have some lights that are more uh, daily sunlight color. And these lights that I got are uh, pink again. They're high grow brand, uh, 2000 watts uh, lights. So they're supposed to cover a little bit wider surface, which is really nice because I have a lot of plants. I'm also really interested to see how they're going to perform with one of my most stretched pots. And I love this Graptopetalum. And I'm going to tell you in a little bit what I'm going to do. Let's first unbox these lights and um, set them up. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the experiment I'm going to do. So here it is guys, <clears throat> they don't have those large bulbs, like light bulbs, kind of like in Kingbo. These are like more smaller ones, kind of like the uh, other lights that are more white that I have. So <clears throat> they're a little bit more heavy than my last lights, um, but these also are covering um, more of a surface. So. It seems to be a same setup as with the lights that I had in the past, the pink lights. So you just kind of plug the cord here uh, that goes into the electrical outlet. This is the switch for turning on and off lights. I, I will always keep it on because it's going to be plugged into the timer 12 hours a day. And then there is these hooks that you put in four corners of the light. Um, to hang um, the light to the ceiling so uh, it shouldn't be too hard to do I love these adjustable cords they're really useful so then so here it is guys so guys, uh, I don't know if you remember when I got this beautiful Graptopetalum, huge pot with for only $10 from a cons small conservatory in Berrien Springs, Andrews University sale. And uh, I'm going to place the link in the description so you can take a look at that video where I actually got this plant and I was, you know, taking care of it and uh, putting it in a new pot and kind of grooming it. Um, but it's terribly stretched. I left it outside because I thought, you know, facing south is going to have enough sunlight. Not only did it stretch, it lost all of those beautiful purple pink colors. As you can see how the stems are, there is a little bit of spacing between the leaves. And it's pretty much blue. It also has grown a lot, so it's out of control again. I think I'm going to have to do a separate project where I'm going to just redo this whole pot make it look nice again then I have all of the babies from that pot you know the, all those branches that fell off or the leaves and this is a pot made out of those uh, leftover <laughs> rosettes and uh, branches and that one is a little bit mess as well so my experiment is gonna be testing these high grow lights on these plants by placing them above and seeing if I can get a more compact look and more of a distressed colors so I can in future redo the whole pot. And also I have some bigger plants here and on this side some of the chrysoulas that I think would really do good under having more light. So I'm going to kind of hang the light above here so it can reach some of the uh, taller plants. So guys, I set up the light yesterday, so it was turned on yesterday and I just wanted to show you if you can see that these are starting to get pinkish purple color after just 12 hours. I'm really excited. I'm going to turn it on so you can see how it looks like when it's turned on. It is a little bit more pink. Um, these are the white lights, but I'm really excited to see how this is going to work. So guys, thank you for watching. I'm so excited to see how this experiment will go. So in the following weeks, I'm going to keep you updated. 
and I will uh, see you soon with some of my new videos.